The DSP8000XE uses the new ultrasonic tweeter. It uses a beryllium dome and a large motor system. We use beryllium because it's very light and yet stiff. And the large motor means that we can control the movement of the dome very accurately, very precisely. Another important aspect of the design of the ultrasonic tweeter is its dispersion characteristic. The dispersion of a loudspeaker is its ability to retain the correct tonal balance whether you're directly in front of the loudspeaker or you're off axis to one side. In order to achieve this with the ultrasonic tweeter, it's designed with a specially profiled waveguide. This is completely smooth and free of any external fixings, any ridges, there's no grill or any other obstacles which would cause reflection and therefore diffraction of the sound as it leaves the tweeter. Each XE loudspeaker is fitted with six of our new subsonic bass drives. The subsonic bass drive features a large motor, a deep cone and a wide surround to give it a long excursion. We achieve this in the XE by having the amplifier designed in conjunction with the selection of the drive unit. This gives us the ability to put masses of bass into the room, but with complete control. When a loudspeaker is playing, sound waves leave the front of the drive units and progress into the room. What's not always so obvious is that an equal amount of sound energy is coming from the back of the cones into the cabinet. If these sound waves collide with the cabinet walls, they can cause vibrations, which can resonate the cabinet, and we hear this in the room as distortion on the bass. To overcome this on the XE, the drive units are mounted in our force balance configuration. This is where we put three drive units down the side of each cabinet, and they're arranged in pairs so they're back-to-back -back opposite each other. This means that when the bass drives are playing, sound waves leave the back of the cone and travel across the cabinet and interact with each other. Destructive interference takes place and the unwanted bass energy is reduced. The residual energy that's left is absorbed by the cabinet. The XE uses the new EVO mid-range drive unit. This features a very large magnet and an extremely stiff and light cone. Here, the large motor system isn't so much concerned with power, but with control. We can precisely control the movement of the cone, stopping and starting it as we require. Of course, when you listen to the XE, you don't hear the independent drive units. They're integrated together to produce a sound that immerses you. Whether it's a musician playing a virtuoso solo, whether it's an intense scene in a movie, or whether it's one word in a song in the final verse, where the singer's voice just breaks and you connect with that emotion.